problems that we've been finding in the rescue house is that all of the corners and all of the doorways are out of level by as much as an inch. So Miguel has had to figure out the best way to compensate for that. What we're doing is we're building up a mud base because about the top three feet of this goes from about a half an inch to zero. Uh, that's, that's how they're out of level. So what he's done is he's put these strips up, attached them, and made the strip level on both sides. And then he's built up his mud flush with the strip. This is not the most desirable thing to do because that mud, when it gets real thick and it dries, it shrinks. So we put a few screws in and left the heads out in the thickest part to act kind of like oh, a little support in there to kind of hold the mud in place. I think it'll work fine, but we, we will have to come back and revisit these corners at least a couple more times um, because they are gonna crack and we're gonna have to refill them until they quit cracking. This is uh, kind of all through this house, the owner had somebody come in and put this metal channel up or metal bead up around the sheetrock and they didn't do a very good job of it. And so we're having to go back and kind of redo it and fix it. Um, here's another place where we put the wood strip up and he's preparing to mud it. And you can see the edge right there. And there's just from nothing right here, that's flush. And the idea right on this one is that this corner is so crooked and wavy that we have to put a straight edge there just to kind of get it where it'll be flat again. This ceiling had no support in it. The sheetrock, the, the new two before, this new two before right here is one we added. It was never up there. So when they nailed the sheetrock up, there was no, what we call just a nailer behind the sheetrock. It was just kind of floating up there and had to be removed because it was sagging and starting to fall down. Also, these light pockets are supposed to line up flush with the corner of the wall. As you can see, they're about an inch or so too long. I don't know how anybody could have screwed that up, but they did. So we're gonna add a little block and add a little piece of sheetrock and we're gonna have to refloat and retexture this ceiling. On this side, the light pocket has an even worse problem. <clears throat> if you look real, real close at this picture, on the right hand side, it's narrower, the, it, it gets narrower towards the back. It has actually got a, a, a hump in it. The line, if you look right here, is not straight on this side. It's crooked. Sorry about the bad picture, doing the best I can here. <clears throat> so we have to, figure out a way to straighten that up because that again is a light pocket and it has to be absolutely straight or it's going to look absolutely bad. So we probably are going to be able to do it cosmetically. We're going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, another little project on the rescue house. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying these videos. Send me a message and let me know what you think.